Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we shall consider the concept of exception handling in Python. So without wasting much time, let me consider the concept straight away. Exception handling in Python. So what we do here is, first we shall consider what the concept is, then we'll consider the Python code. First let me consider the, uh, the entire scenario behind exception handling. Getting an error or exception in the Python program means the entire program will crash. To explain this, say for example, I have a Python code uh, which is of 100 lines and say for example, I have the error at 40th line. The program will get executed till, till 39th line. At the 40th line, it is going to cause the error and rest of the lines will not be executed at all. So what we do, what we wish is we do not wish this to happen in real world programs. I hope you people got this. Instead, we wish the program to detect the errors, handle them and then continue to run the rest of the program. That is the beauty of the programming in Python uh, using the concept of exception handling. For example, we'll consider the following program which has a divide by zero error. That means I have written a small code which causes divide by zero. That means I'm trying to divide a number by zero. So obviously that is going to cause the error. And first we'll see the code with error. Later we'll see how to handle this uh, error uh, with exception handling. Yes, this is the Python code that causes an error. This is the definition. DEF is the keyword. Spam is the name of the function. Uh, inside we have divide by this is the parameter return return is the keyword 42 divided by divide by so this is the definition of the function spam the program execution will not start from this line it actually starts from where the function is being called so the next line is print spam print is going to print inside we have spam so here I am calling the function that means the program execution will start at this line. I hope uh, uh, we are getting this uh, uh, what, what, what it is. So that means the program execution will start from this line. Spam I am going to call the function. So the program uh, the flow control comes over here and we are passing the variable 2. So divide by will have the parameter, will have the value 2. It goes inside return 42 divided by 2. What is the answer? 21. 21 is going to be returned. That is going to be printed. So moving further, the next line is print spam 12. So what happens here? I am again calling the function spam with a value 12. So it happens 42 divided by 12. The answer is going to be 3.5. That is going to be printed. So next I have print spam 0. So this time I'm calling the spam function with the value 0. So I'm actually dividing 42 divided by 0. So this causes the error. At this point the program is going to crash. So next I have another line of code print spam 1. Uh, this line is not going to be executed because uh, print spam 0 has caused the error and hence the program execution will stop at that point of time. Here I'm actually considering the Python code that is being written in editor window. So let me run this code and uh, try to execute the program. Yes, we can check over here. First I got the output as 21.0 which is uh, the output of 42 divided by 2. I got the answer as 21.0. Next I am passing the value 12. 42 divided by 12 uh, gets me the answer of 3.5. Next I am passing the value 0. So here we can check 42 by 0 is actually causing me 0 division error. So this error we call it as 0 division error and the program has crashed now and it has not considered the next line of code that is print spam 1. So this line hasn't been executed and I got the error as a zero division error. Now we shall actually consider the concept of exception handling in Python. A zero division error happens whenever there is an attempt to divide 
a number by zero that's what we we saw previously we tried to divide a number by zero and that caused us the error that we are calling it as zero division error so now the task is we want the python code to handle this so how is that possible errors can be handled with try and accept statements so these are the two statements try and accept we use it in the python code which can handle the errors the code that could potentially have an error is put in a try clause that means wherever we feel uh, the code that may cause the error that will put it in try clause the program execution moves to the start of a following accept clause if an error occurs that means uh, if if we get an error uh, immediately the program execution uh, goes to the accept clause this is the python code that handles divide by zero error the previous code was the python code which caused us the error so now we'll see how to handle uh, that divide by zero error with this code so define is def is the keyword spam is the name of the function divide by is the parameter here we have try so try is a statement it has a clause that means the statement return 42 divided by divide by this is the statement that may potentially cause the error so this statement i am putting it in try state uh, try uh, try uh, clause so next i have accept zero division error say for example if this statement causes an error it the execution comes to accept clause so it is going to print error invalid argument so we are going to get the message as error invalid argument the program execution will not stop and it continues thereafter so this is the advantage of the uh, exception handling and this is the print uh, spam 2 so first what we do is the program execution starts at this line or at this point of time why because we know that whenever uh, we call a function the program execution starts at that line so here we are calling the function print we are going to print something spam i'm calling the function here and i'm passing the parameter 2 so the execution goes to this line straight away the definition of spam and divide by take the value as zero so it comes to the try uh, try clause so return 42 divided by uh, the value is 2 42 divided by 2 i'm going to get the answer as 21.0 next line print spam 12 so i'm going to pass the value 12 42 divided by 12 i'm going to get 3.5 as the answer so this line is also been executed so next i have print spam zero that means now uh, it goes to try blocks return 42 divided by 0 so now this is causing the error so the execution goes to accept so it comes to over here zero division error so it is going to print the message error invalid argument so that means i'm getting the output for this also as invalid argument the program execution did not stop here and it continued thereafter so next print spam one i'm going to pass the uh, i'm going to call the function spam and i'm passing the value as one so it is going to divide 42 divided by one and i'm going to get the answer as a 42 it is going to be returned and it is going to be printed so this is the python code uh, that handles divide by zero error yes here we shall actually consider the code in python written in editor window the previous program caused us the zero division error and we are trying to handle that uh, with exception handling so let me run this code and let's see what we get yes so here we can see we are getting all the outputs the first one is 21.0 when the, the parameter 2 was passed 42 divided by 2 we got the answer as 21.0 next we passed 12 42 divided by 12 we got the answer as 3.5 here we can check and next is spam 0 so we are passing the value 0 42 divided by 0 and we are getting the error the statement it is going to print error invalid argument that is being printed and after that the print statement is going to return none so that is being uh, printed none and lastly i have spam 1 
a parameter 1 has been passed 42 divided by 1 I am going to get the answer as 42.0 so in this way we can handle exceptions in Python uh, using zero division error I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I am happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching